solutions work, but I am a wetland ecologist, so all of you are speaking my language, uh, which has been, it's been really exciting to be here for the last uh, day so far. Um, so, regional engagement, what is that? Um, it's one of those kind of classic NGO, what does it mean, titles. But the region that I engage is the West. Um, and by, so my portfolio includes oceans and land, which for us primarily manifests as wildfire and climate adaptation right now, and hopefully eventually water. And I'll talk a little bit about what engagement means for us uh, in a bit. Also, uh, feel free to tweet about the training um, in case you are so moved. Um, so that's my handle, the compass handle, and then the hashtag uh, compass message box. I would also suggest tagging Coast. So before we dive in, um, just a little bit about Compass for those of you who don't know us. Um, Compass is a boundary organization, which means that we work at the interface of science and policy. Um, our organization was founded on the premise that science needs to have a seat at the decision-making table because science and scientists themselves have the potential to transform critical dialogues. And a key part of science playing this role in decision-making is effective science communication. And that's what we do. We help scientists become effective communicators of their work. We forge connections between scientists and other audiences, media and decision makers, policy makers. We give them the context, the networks, and the relationships they need to be empowered to bring their science into public dialogues. And this is all in the name of policy, resource management, and the broader public discourse being better informed by science. And also, you know, I think a lot of uh, what was spoken about today really speaks to why SciComm, right? This is a great way to bring your work that's relevant into decision making and into the media. It's a great way to elevate your work in the moment, but also you as a scientist in general um, can create further pathways for funding and uh, visibility for your work in the future, and can also really raise the visibility of your institution at the national level, which is what we'll talk about a little bit later with a message box example, but also um, locally, um, if you're engaging with local media and communities. So uh, Dr. Lachenko uh, founded, was one of the founding partners of Compass. Um, she had a theory of change. And she wrote about it in a paper in 1998, calling for a new social contract for science. And she stated that science should be at the table in a way that is understandable and relevant and credible and salient. And so our organization was really founded with, on this premise. Um, and that having this seat really holds that potential for transforming those critical dialogues and exposing scientists to real world discussions, which can then help inform their future research. So this is just a quick overview of how we'll be spending the next few hours together. Um, the first chunk of time is an intro to the science of science communication and the message box. Then we'll spend about an hour working with the message box itself. And then our last chunk of time will be on elevator speeches. So um, I'd like to get a little bit of a sense of who's in the room. I know we went around earlier and got names. I'm not going to know your names. Sorry, I'm going to point to you and say, guy in the glasses. Um, and I know you said your, uh, your affiliations as well. So we have a really kind of broad 